why I live in Minglanilia when I'm in the Philippines. First thing is, uh, Minglanilia is south of Cebu City. Um, it's accessible to Cebu City on the bus by about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, it's got a population of around 100,000 last time I checked. And it's just out of that bit where it gets all dusty with the city living. Now, first thing is, I live there because my wife's from there, <laughs> but there's many reasons I choose to live there. Um, we bought land there because it's cheaper than obviously Seabridge City, where the prices are shooting up. <coughs> We're close to the main road, which also means going to the south, uh, to a place like Argo and keep going, it's all on this straight road all the way south. Um, where you can get some beautiful beaches and stuff. It's not far, you know. Going out, you know, booking a hotel for the evening, it's not an issue. You can just drive south, go to the beach all day, and then book a hotel right on the right on the seafront. All that sort of stuff is easily accessible. We have several resorts near the house um, within five minutes. Now that that may not be a big thing for most people, but when you have family or friends. You can go to the swimming pool, you can have uh, barbecues and stuff all at the resort. The reason I like to do it that way is I can go home. Because <laughs> some people like to drink all night or whatever. I'm not 21 anymore, um, and I will quietly go home a lot of the time. So leaving a bar tab for, you know, some cash on the bar for some people to have a drink and then go home early suits me. Um, we also got the supermarkets and stuff that's opened up. When I first went there, there was only like the local market. Um, now there's La Nueva, which is like uh, a supermarket for small stores. You know, cause they call them Sari Sari stores, which are these mini uh, stores. I think they call them uh, mom and pap stores in the US or something. I don't know. I just, I've heard that phrase used a lot. So you have like bundles of food or snacks, you know, you go there and buy a pack of 10 peanuts, uh, peanut packs, you know, solid peanuts or whatever. That's there. We've had uh, Gasano open up uh, just a bit further along. Gasano's got everything in there that you pretty much need to survive. Um, but the other side of that being, because we're not far from Cebu City, we're next to the big malls. You know, we can get to the big malls in 40 minutes by car or taxi, uh, airports 45 minutes away. Um, because um, our daughter has autism, there is an autism school within 20 minutes of the house, which is a very, very good school. Um, they do one to one, they do, you know, they brought her on miles um, within a few weeks of being there um, and now she's in Spain she's just completely different I think Spain's made a huge difference as well though <coughs> because it's it's taken her out of that comfort zone of the Philippines so um, shopping wise it's all there you've got SNR as well which is on the run to Cebu City so shopping wise everything's around us because we're slightly outside the city it's not so noisy because um, I hate noise. Um, I'm one of these people that I quite happily sit in a quiet room with no TV. Um, in fact, the conversation <laughs> came up the other day about an advert on TV where the guy suddenly realized I don't watch TV because um, it is something I make very clear that I'm not a TV person. <laughs> um, but the, the thing is, it's quiet there because it's slightly provincial but it's still got the town living. You've also got the Naga, which is 15 minutes ride by motorbike, which has between Naga and Minglanilia a hospital. And the hospital does everything. The kids have been born there. Um, and I've went there and for an accident and stuff. It's not the greatest of hospitals. I wouldn't say it's the most hygienic, but it's better than not having a hospital. <laughs> Um, I know some people have had some severe problems when they've been very provincial because the medical assistance isn't there. Um, 
somebody um, somebody had their foot mangled after a motorcycle crash and then when he went to a major hospital after being stitched in the provinces the doctor asked him if he stitched it himself it was that bad. <laughs> i shouldn't laugh really because it did mess up his feet but the the fact is it's pretty bad when you're right out in the sticks me and google get through a lot of pain um but the the fact is i like the community the community is there you still got that sense of community because it's it's a town it's it's although it's like where we are it's, it's like this <coughs> slightly split off like a village um so everybody knows each other everyone's related in some way everybody's friends with each other um everybody looks out for each other my friend graham went to the house opposite where we live and he went out and left the front door open with his laptop and stuff on there the the neighbor actually locked the front door <laughs> because they were worried about it getting rough you know that's the that's the way the area we live in you know people are like that you know they're concerned about you you know they're if you're sick people bring you fruit it's that it's a nice environment and yes we do have two apartments for rent in Minglanilia. um I heard they're booked out at the moment, but I think they're, they're available from next month. But the um, the whole environment is still small town. Everybody knows each other. Nobody bothers each other. Um, when the call center is running, people won't have loud music on for fiestas and stuff. They know to knock it off just before we start dialing. They they're considerate, and I know other people have got other problems in other areas but where we are we're happy you know some people are nice people are friendly whenever it's a birthday or fiesta people bring food over to us in the same way we give them them food, them food. it's it's a nice place to live um cebu city get a bit further in you start losing all that because you become the silo living city living where people don't really talk to each other um you got that mentality of uh, keeping up with the Joneses, and it's just—it's just not me. I'm not—I'm not a city person anyway. I do for work, but I find a lot of people that even I work with socially, I don't even know who the wives are. But, you know, and you think you work with these guys all year long <laughs> <coughs> because we live all over the country. We don't actually socialize at all. Everything's about work. When we leave work. That's it. We're not really connected in any way. So yeah, I like that village mentality. I like the environment. The beach is terrible, but like I said, we just head south. The further south you go, the better the beaches get. The cleaner the air, cleaner the area. But also, I can get on my motorbike and head up to the mountains, um, which is behind where we live, and be in the mountains in five minutes. Get that temperature drop. Just after the rain, you just feel that cool air, the, the fresh freshness of the, you know, when you get that rising cold air. Um, fantastic. And that's why I love Mingo and um, And that's why we live there. Because people ask me, well, are you going to go back? We've got six apartments there. Um, we own a quite large lot. We've got my 4x4 still there. Uh, my motorbike's still there. Um, the call center is still there. The fact is, we got too much invested, even if we didn't want to go back. But the reality is, my wife's parents are there, and so is the family. And I know they're missing the kids, so we will be going back to the Philippines because that's where our family are. You know, my wife's family are. So yes, we are, and we will. And <coughs> I just wanted to make that clear that Mingling is all right it's a good place to live I like living there but the reason I do six month stints is you can become quite isolated I do have friends like Robert Dayton's like five minutes from the house I've got um, Graham's in the city I've got uh, guys all over the place you know in the area but none of them are, uh, none of the person in walking distance probably Robert um, but you do become quite isolated because of 
the way the expats are scattered all over the place. But also, for me, I like engaging with people. I like talking about politics. I like talking about, um, I'm not a sports person, but I'm a technology person. I'm uh, interested in what people are doing, what businesses people are up to, what things they're wanting to try. And, you know, I'm interested in people. <coughs> in the Philippine community, you don't really get that. Um, people just go about their daily lives, and that's that's where that cutoff point is, unfortunately. Um, but it is nice when you have other stuff going on, and to do the stuff I like doing is quite expensive. Um, when we went up to see Creed in uh, Manila, for example, I think the tickets alone were thirteen thousand pesos. Uh, then you had the flight, the hotel, um, a day out shopping in Manila. You can guess how much everything costs. It soon adds up. Um, same as when we eat out, we go to the waterfront, we go to the um, Thai restaurant on the other side of the city. So, you know, eating out is like two, three thousand pesos at times. Or I think it's Oreo. There's a, it's a really nice steak restaurant as well. Um, there's 1500 pesos a steak or more. It's probably about 18, 1800, 2000 now. That's what we do when we're in the Philippines. We do go out as well, um, which is why when people go out about the comparison of standard of living, we'll have quite a high quality standard of living. Um, we've got three AC units, for example, in our properties. We have electric bills, which are often more than most people's budgets are for the month because of the way we live. <laughs> I've lived thrifty as well. Um, I've lived in a one bedroom place and I was happy there. It's just that now we've got the kids, you expand out on a regular basis and you keep adding, adding, adding. And now it's like, okay, it's now cheaper to live in Spain. <laughs> but we're in Spain for the kids' education anyway, so it's not a negative thing. But the Philippines is creeping up on the expenses. Um, I was talking to a friend, Don, recently, and he was saying exactly the same thing, that it's becoming very expensive in the Philippines and compared to what it used to be. Uh, thanks for watching.